problem we've got the slopes on this grass with the 1200R if they're slightly wet it has trouble getting up um, and also it's quite bumpy ground so you can see I think this is the steepest part here maybe but yeah it does slope quite a bit and it's getting stuck in different areas of the grass so here it is what can we do <laughs> spikes <laughs> so the first thing to think about is obviously the charging um, connectors here going into and touching those plates which is basically there so at the moment they're quite low so you can raise this um, a reasonable amount without causing any problems so the idea is that <coughs> we're basically going to put some stainless steel screws um, I'm not going to go mad I'm just going to put um, ones in opposite sides of the wheel I'm only going to put four in and see what happens and do that on both wheels uh, to get the wheel trims off obviously to get the wheels off you might be able to get an allen key in there but they're star heads but yeah you could possibly get this wheel off altogether so all I'm going to do though I've removed the wheel trim which is quite easy there's just clips on the inside here that you push screwdriver in, push down. Or is it the other way? Hang on a sec. And you just push down. Try and get this. Yeah, push down and out, and that will start releasing the wheel trim. And you just do with that. There's four of them. Sorry, three of them. <laughs> and that then pops it out that uh, gives you access obviously to the inside so i'm thinking I'm just trying to work out where to do this if i do it in the middle bit i don't think it matters actually i'm going to drill holes here and then i've got these stainless steel screws now i'm thinking that is way too much. If you look at that, it's gonna raise it too much. So we're more probably, maybe these, they're a bit too short. My screw pot's been a bit mixed, messed up, bits mixed, mixed together. Let's go for those, they're quite good. Let's give those a go. Still maybe a wee too, bit too high, don't I? Let's give them a pop. So four in each wheel. Let's do it. Right, so. What I'm going to do is get a drill bit. Ordinarily, these 1200Rs are fine on flat flat lawn um, let's go a bit bigger 2.5 doesn't matter if you get this wrong really um, all you've done is put a hole in a plastic wheel and even if we have to take these out again it still doesn't really matter right let's go one there very soft just trying to work out so that's the hole do we go from the, try and go from the inside out or do we just screw one in I've got Phillips these are Phillips heads balls I guess if we do it this way still getting the traction and they're fully adjustable. And as if I'm doing it from the inside out, it's going to be a bit harder to do. All right, that's going in. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Okay. So let's go 
you, you can turn these very gently. There's the handiwork. As I can uh, show you. They are nice and tight, I'm not going anywhere. Couldn't help myself. We have added another two screws. So we've got four screws in each wheel on opposite sides. So there, and again here. Probably gonna add loads of these, but let's have another test on the steep hill. Oh, let's try that one. Definitely better. Definitely better. But too steep. No, that is good. So it was at this point I realised that the screws, although they were good, they were plucking the boundary line. So where they'll put the pegs down with the wire, although it was tight, the screw heads were getting caught up in the wire and pulling it and pulling it to quite a, a loop, which was obviously going to get cut by the blades. So plan B is the number plate nuts and bolts, five pounds worth. Let it roll.
Right, so the conclusion from all of this is don't use screws. Use the number plate fixing nuts and bolts, the plastic ones, which are, how much were they? They were £2.25 for eight. So in the end, I used eight on each wheel and I did actually cut the, um, the bolts down a bit there's a smooth bit so with the um, smooth bit just chop that off get rid of that and just reduce them a bit because it does jerk up and down a little bit but um, these are much better much cheaper than what's available at the moment on the market people are um, CNC in kind of like it's like a gear wheel that you fix on the side of the wheels which yeah it's great but it's 49 pounds I don't think it's that good is it so you can for the you know five pounds make these things go up quite steep hills in all sorts of conditions obviously it won't go up um, a hill that's got a um, greater incline than what it's um, set for so this one i think it's 11 percent so anything more than that it just comes up with tilt on the display and that's nothing to do with traction that's just purely the the robot mower picking up this gone at a higher angle than it should and it's just stopped so but you know it's improved um, my cutting ability um, it's meant that I can uh, continue using this robot mower in its new setting without having to upgrade change or anything like that and the complete boundary wire is 200 meters long so it's quite a big setup and it sort of kind of goes in an L shape I'm trying to think now yeah it's like an L shape uh, so yeah anyway thanks for watching this video got any questions don't forget to uh, ask and rate subscribe and I'll see you on another video